So guys, I used to be addicted to soap. I'm so, clean. I'm clean now. Uh, 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 it's a good one. It's a good one. Like you was so. It was so bad that you literally couldn't even finish it without. Like you almost didn't land it just because you, you're like, I know that this is. It's that, good. This is bad. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. Anything but credible. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Anything But Credible podcast, a.k.a. the ABC pod, a.k.a. the partially, possibly offensive ABC pod this week. That's right. We have our, some guests with us. We have the guys from the Offended podcast with us. A lot of good stuff in store this week. Before we do that, let's go around. Let's introduce them. Let's, uh, introduce them to the... Well, we've had Todd on before, but now we got the other half. Stouties with us. First of all... The worst half. <laughs> Fuck oh. you. <laughs> Damn. From the Offended Podcast, Stoutsy, Tricky, fellas, what's up? Thanks for coming on the ABC Pod. What's up? Thanks Excited to be here. Good. All right. Also, a part of the crew to my left, Griff. What's up, Griff? I'm here. I'm here. He's here. He yeah. made it. To my right, Killer K. What's up, Keith? What up? My name is Life Dukes. Slip. Well, like, God, I keep, <laughs> I keep stepping on you, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> every every, every time I do oh, it. Stop it harder. I we feel need like to stop this. He takes that, it, it's like he takes it like a half breath. And then I'm just like, I gotta catch my breath, dude. He's faking you out. He's hitting you with that stutter step. (laughs) He does. He says it's so slow. It's so relaxed. So chill with it. Well, because life's lit. Too lit to quit. Okay. Well, (laughs) my my apologies. True. (laughs) He makes good points. Like I said, this week we got a lot of good stuff. We got um. So like I said, Todd has tricky has been on uh, on the pod a couple times. I think right. This is your third. It's the third time. Yeah. And Stoutsy just. Didn't get the invite for the past. I did not, past time. and I never gave you a shout out. No, no. you didn't. <laughs> oh damn, <laughs> we, we argued about that. <laughs> so what we got is since push. since since it's Stalsy's first time, we're gonna hit some icebreakers with him. We haven't done icebreakers in a while, fellas, actually, and um, we're gonna have Tricky jump back in too because who doesn't love icebreakers? Then we'll get on to uh, we have a, we have a a, to- a specific very specific topic to talk about <laughs> before we get to the theory of the week that we just did off air before we started pre show pre rolling. And we'll get into some weekly weirdness, or the theory of the week, and then we'll finish up with some weekly weirdness. First, though, before we get into all of that, let's start by, since both of you are here, I I think people that have been listening to the podcast, you know, before we get to the theory of the past few episodes, we've been playing the um, offended podcast, you know, little ad promo type deal. But since you're here live... What is the what is the offended podcast? What is it? What is it about? What you, what are you guys doing? Plug your shit. Yeah. Plug your shit. <laughs> it's basically, we have kind of decided it's kind of like just the Seinfeld of podcast. Basically, we'll talk about anything and just basically sometimes nothing and just shoot the shit and just kind of like yeah, just nothing. Lately, uh, this past month it's just been WrestleMania theme month. Yeah. Every every episode has a certain theme of uh, that pertains to WrestleMania, like best matches, best moments, best wrestlers in yeah. WrestleMania history. Yeah, and then uh, after our next episode that comes out next week, that'll be our last episode for WrestleMania month, and we go back into just the normal bullshit episodes, yeah, basically. a lot of wrestling, a lot of hockey talk. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, man. Well, I think you guys bullshit. say it on the ad where it's like, you're sponsored by PWP Nation, right? Shout, yeah. out, shout out to them, but uh, Switch is a wrestling, a professional wrestling right. site, but it doesn't necessarily mean that Offended is a wrestling podcast. Correct. Right, yeah, Correct. no, it's dope. They pretty much said, yeah. Talk about what you want. Yeah, free reign. Yeah. yeah. I mean, half the time we just make fun of each other, which is pretty <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> we uh, kind of noticed that there's this other podcast by these two wrestlers, uh, Edge and Christian, the old uh, uh, late 90s, early 2000s tag team, a lot of very popular tag team. They have their own podcast out now. Very good, very entertaining. We have noticed that very weird similarities between our podcasts. Yeah. Like, it's What's just that? them just giving each other shit like, and talking wrestling mm-hmm. hockey. I'm like, it's- this is. Us and like we like, I'm like Edge and you're like Christian. Yeah, it's weird. It's, it's, <laughs> it's very crazy. strange. It's, it's crazy because they talk about wrestling that happened during the week or like a pay per view, and their opinions are like so similar to ours. Yeah. And it's like it's crazy because like we're thinking the same as these guys that are. One of them's a Hall of Famer. The other one's gonna be a Hall of Famer okay. soon. And it's okay. like crazy that they're thinking what we're thinking and they rip on each other. It's so funny, dude. Very good. Yeah, well, that's what I was good. telling. That's what I was telling Todd. Though I think it might have been even the first time that you came on. Is like, you know, for me, and I think, well, all three of us really. We 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 like talking about wrestling every once in a while, jumping into the world, and you know, because majority of our lives we're not in that world. Mm-hmm. But then, so we like jumping in. But like, what I get from listening to you guys is like, 
you know, obviously I like the bullshit, you know, the hockey talk, whatever, going back and forth. Mm -hmm. But when it does come to wrestling talk, like it's very clear that you guys know your shit. You know, we like, and we like uh, sense, yeah. So. yeah, for sure. I mean, well, way, I mean, a, a million times more than I think. Could you guys, I don't know. I want to speak for you guys, but for, for sure, a million times more than me. Yeah, I don't know anything. Yeah. <laughs> and I know that Todd, we've talked about this before, but at some point it will happen for everyone listening out there. Cause I know Scally, our rings, our official ringside reporter is, uh, is listening to this. Won't, at one point we'll just have a, some point down the road, we'll have a super wrestling nerd out session. Cause I just want to hear, right. I just kind of want to sit back and Promo. be the fly on the wall. And just kind of hear you guys talk because I hear you guys and I'm like, damn, you guys know a shit ton, right? But then I listen to Scally and I'm like, I don't know if anybody knows more. Like, <laughs> Scally knows more than, I mean. He knows a lot. It's, yeah. He yeah. knows his wrestling. Man. Yeah. It, it's, There's it's, no it's doubt insane. about that. Can right. we dress up as wrestling characters? When you that can. Happens? Oh, Keep yeah. it. I mean, you guys do a podcast, so you are aware that <laughs> it's an audio it? format. Yeah. So, but that's for, <laughs> but, so that's for you, though. Yeah. Yeah. We can bring signs. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Stone Cold. No, man, we just... Wrestling is like our own. So, like, I'm not a big Game of Thrones guy, but like the way people Damn. love Game of Thrones, like that's their entertainment. It's not <laughs> real, like it's it's scripted, like wrestling is. Yeah. So, but it's just like, yeah, it's a nerd thing, but like it's hey, dope, man. Yeah, yeah, everybody's we entitled have, to their nerd things. Yeah, yeah so. for sure. And that's why I think we we find it interesting is because I mean, I we I, I didn't grow up in it, but it, that's why mm -hmm. I think it's interesting because it's it's something that's totally different to me, and I, I get a kick out of it. But I'm, most of the time, I don't know <laughs> what the hell's going on it's but, entertaining like, I can't, it's, it's, yeah. I'll, I'll sit there and like put, <clears throat> mean to put it on for like a minute and I'll find myself you know half an hour later still watching mm -hmm. like, right. and it's a never I can, ending I can story see it. each yeah. week yeah. it's yeah. something it continues and yeah. continues and continues yeah, and it just changes wrestlers over time like Stone Cold was talking I was watching a documentary with him he's like he's thinks that he's this gear on this wheel and his gear ran out so they just found somebody to replace him put the mm -hmm. gear on the wheel keeps spinning just found another jackass do you, uh, you guys uh, speaking of him do you, do you listen to his mm -hmm. podcast Oh, all the yeah. time. I he's, fucking love it, man. He's hilarious. I can listen to that guy talk about anything. I didn't think I'd enjoy this when he talks Me about neither. like hunting it's his voice. or other That's stuff. Why. But it's that, in the way he he <laughs> oh, tells the story I so well right during, like, <laughs> during a podcast. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> what interrupt me, some bitch. What? No, but like, what? you listen to it, dude? I have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, he's so good. Like, he had Post Malone on one day. Oh, oh, oh he's, he's gonna go in, download that oh, shit. Isn't that nuts? In. He's like, <laughs> Stone Cold's like, he rolled up in this uh, Chrysler 300 with butterfly door. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> it's a horrible Stone Cold. Oh, hell so. But like, he's like, that's cool. It's, it's, it's me either. But he's so versatile. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. And I mean, and the guy's a legend. Like, even somebody like us, I, I, who's gonna, even non wrestling people, who's gonna honestly turn down an invite to be on Stone Cold's pod? I mean, you know how you, hard that would be. You never turn it. No, on. you. I don't. give up a lot of things in my life. I was. I got. I got my questions answered on his podcast once. I made really? up some questions and swig a beer. Swig, yeah, I said swig a beer. He retweeted me swig swig a beer because that's his thing. And I was oh, like, okay, yeah, yeah. I marked out so hard. I was like, this is the <laughs> best day of my life. Yeah, when he said it on the air, and he's like, uh, Stout. Oh, it's, it's like J like, underscore Stout like, Notch. Jim. Swig a beer, Jim. He was like, I'll answer your question. I'm like that son of a bitch. Your heart, your heart <laughs> dropped, probably. Wow, dude. I was. I think I was working. I was like, I'm about to leave work. I'm I gotta like, go. <laughs> I gotta go home. I can't <laughs> tell the world this, dude. I was. I'm marking out now. Like I'm grinning, bro. So cool. It, so what? Uh, I don't really want to dive into wrestling talk per se, but give mm -hmm. me since it's wrestling month for you guys, give me like a short synopsis slash paraphrasing summary, whatever you want to say, super quick on what. Cause fill us in on what actually. What's the top story that's happening right now in the wrestling world? I, I guess that's hard because there's a million stories going on. But say, Ronda Rousey. Like, yeah, if you Ronda could say Rousey. top top three hot topics of the wrestling world right now, what's R happening? Probably. Ronda Rousey for sure it was definitely one. Uh, yep. Daniel Bryan yep. is medically cleared after three years. Oh, I know being, you've been loving that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's you've like that's, that. he's my role model basically, like my idol. The whole reason why I even trained in professional wrestling because I'm actually taller than him. So I'm like, yeah. if he could do it, I can possibly do it. He's almost my size when he started. Uh, and yeah, I just love Daniel Bryan. So when he was medically cleared, I even almost shed a tear. I was like, fuck yes, yeah. let's go. And yeah. Griff. They just want to throw that in. He's in a lot of Total Divas when that was on air. Just okay. Dude, I'm a big fan. I was a big fan. We, we've talked about this. You, you were? Yeah. You're I don't not think anymore? It, I don't, I'm not sure it's online. I think they gave a lot of those female wrestlers their own show. Like their own. I don't think it's the uh, Divas. Uh, they did break off shows. Yeah, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I don't know, though. I haven't been following. Uh, what else, though? So that's I'd, one. What else? I'd say a or big two. story, which isn't WWE, but it's Ring of Honor and Cody, yep, New Japan. This wrestler, Cody Rhodes, son of the late Dusty Rhodes. Um, brother, WWE guy left. 
and has just made a name for himself crazy amount in oh yeah what a year maybe two probably than a year and a half year and a half like, do you know do you guys know this guy gold dust by any chance has a 90s wrestler weird not to me. sounds like a bond villain really weird it does sound it sounds cool <laughs> it's very strange it's his brother so in the mid 90s this guy gold dust very creepy gold like dust. he was i love it Kind of the drag first queen wrestling, yeah, he was a drag oh. queenish, like do like kind of homo things like on wrestling, and it would just freak out the crowd at the time. So it was like the mid nineties, so yeah, and professional yeah. wrestling crowds were just like, not, not out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. And so he, that's Cody. That's his brother. So Cody was Stardust, like later on, like <laughs> a few years ago. So they were together, <laughs> with Goldust it. and Stardust. <laughs> Cody hated it. Went on to do his own thing over in New Japan with Bullet Club, with like oh, Young yeah. Bucks and like yeah. Kenny Omega and a bunch of other people. Now, like he's causing like this huge civil war within Bullet Club, and it's like <laughs> him and Kenny Omega are wrestling each other. Like finally, after like a year build over it, finally wrestling each other Saturday night, tomorrow night actually. Oh, okay. So and probably the to end it on them, the biggest thing about them is they're trying to do this show in Chicago called All In. Ten thousand was it? Ten thousand seat arena. Ten thousand seat arena. In the normal, what's the average attendance for like an? They call it for, indie wrestling, but for Ring of Honor, probably normal attendance is probably like a thousand, maybe two thousand. Mm, so okay. they're big time. They, okay, they're that's a big deal. Running out at like a ten thousand seated arena, they're hoping to get even five thousand plus. Rumor. Would be huge for them because people are like you can't even get yeah, you can't even get two thousand. You can't get three thousand. Right. So Rumor it's is that huge. CM Punk's gonna be a part of that show, so yeah, that's that's gonna sell out if Punk's a part of it. If Punk hasn't been. Evolved in wrestling in probably four years. Hmm. He's on that MMA kick, right? Yep. <laughs> he has a fight coming up in June for UFC. And Does he? Pretty. Yep. It's confirmed. And you know pretty what? sure he's going to lose and go back to wrestling. You know what, <laughs> yeah, man, dude? He got <laughs> destroyed. In his I will give him yeah. props yeah. though. Like he stepped into a ring with another that, man trying sure. to hurt him. I absolutely give him props for that. Man. Yeah. I don't think he necessarily deserved the spot in the UFC right hey, away. Yeah. He was a big draw. Yeah. yeah. He's money. All that's, true. About. that's true. That's true. This sucks Gregor, for some other money. fighter that deserves, which is what I want to talk about in a right. second. I was going to say, Griff, go ahead, man. You, okay. you, I know you got something. But, Conor yeah. McGregor. <laughs> yeah, you had some hot takes on McGregor on yes. Twitter, man. Can we talk about that? Yes, of course. What happened? Okay, so those who don't know, Conor McGregor video uh, of a freak out that happened where he was actually, attacking a bus. He was defending his, like his buddy. But, yeah. So I want to hear. Yeah, okay. I don't, you tell me what happened, actually. So. Uh, so yesterday, Conor McGregor went crazy, but the day before that, uh, one of his best friends, who's also on his uh, fight team, uh, yeah. I can't pronounce his name. It's a Russian name. Uh, it's like, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's this buddy who's in his fight team, uh, Kabib, or Kebab, however you pronounce it. Do you know how to pronounce his name? I don't. The guy that's fighting, or supposed to be fighting tomorrow, can't fight. Kahib, yeah. maybe? Kahib. Kabib. Yeah, Kabib. 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 Kabib, Kabib, yeah. Kabib cornered him Very with nice. his entourage. Khabib and his entourage cornered Connor's friend at the in a hotel and threatened to beat him up on the spot <laughs> and was threatening him and threatening, like taunting him basically, bullying him and saying, like, where's Connor at? Connor caught wind of this, rounded up a bunch of his friends in Ireland and flew to New York City <laughs> the next day to defend his friend. That's bad. That's yes. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody pretty deserves serious. a friend like Connor McGregor. For sure. Yeah, yeah that's pretty that's unreal. That's yeah. nuts. Like I'm in Ireland. That's it. I'm out. I'm going to yeah, go call hell in ten, New York. I'm going to yeah, hop on boys. a 10 hour, 8 Let's hour go. flight. I'm the going. best thing about, about this it. whole thing is uh, that fighter is in the bus yeah. that Connor like, is uh, throwing damaging. Shit yeah. yeah. And he doesn't come out. And it's like, Soft. oh, you Soft. like, yeah. <laughs> when he's actually there, you're just going to not do anything. And, but what really pissed me off is Dana White really pissed me off. Yeah, I saw, Dana, yeah. I saw Dana's yeah. comments. And he acted like murder just happened. Right. And when, like, in fact, he, this is going to draw so oh, much yeah. more money right. when he fights next. Yeah. And I mean, Dana's a good promoter. Don't you think this could all be that? He's no Vince McMahon. Ish, yeah, for sure. I don't, I don't think he sure. can touch no, Vince. No, no but, can. but still. Vince could, is a billionaire. Could, could this be a stunt? Could though, this be a promotion, though? Hey, well, it could be easily Very be a well, stunt. Yeah. But, um, I think it's a stunt. Me too. I'm in, I'm in on that for sure. As of today, he, he did get charged for assault from one of the other fighters. This is what making me think that it's not. Yeah. He did because he turned himself in, right? Yep. He turned himself in. They can still draw the charge. Right? Yeah. But what really made me mad with Dana White is that he pulled his friend who was cornered in the hotel. He pulled him off the card yeah, and I doesn't punish uh, Khabib. Yeah. How is that right? Like, it's, say, bullshit. like in high school, like if a high school thing happens and a fight breaks out, 
who's ever involved in that fight and who's ever promoting that fight like around friends in high school are all everybody's it. gonna get in trouble yeah yeah yeah. it's just like dana what are you doing was like, was uh, the guy that was getting bullied or whatever was he p- there while uh connor was he was trying to, this stuff there's a video evidence of that guy trying to stop connor from doing it jesus christ it's so that's so ridiculous yeah to him. yeah yeah he's yeah. That shit was hype though, dude. Yeah. yeah I was like, it was, this yeah. is it, lit. It, it, was, <laughs> it was nuts. That video was pretty thing, like you said, like, you have all these fighters on there. Why did they, they could have came up and they yeah. would have teamed up on McGregor beat yeah. the shit out of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Smart thing they probably and didn't. But it's like you just come out and it was like was, yeah. it was like I was watching a live like a real life episode of WWE Raw. Yeah. It, for sure. And mm-hmm. like Conor McGregor is like modern day Stone Cold Steve Austin and Dana White is Vince McMahon. Like Good except point. for Good point. perhaps real. Perhaps yeah. this is yeah. <laughs> yeah, Good point. I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah I still don't maybe. Think so, I'm man. saying I'm putting I, I, maybe real. I'm still. I still want to go off the. It's all a promotional thing. It could be. And if it is, then it is modern day Stone Cold. Yeah, Vince. exactly. Like it would be. Yeah, perfect. then that's exactly that. Yeah, yeah for sure. But um, uh, what was I gonna say? These um, guys in the same weight class, McGregor and yep. uh, yeah, they're, they're supposed yeah. to be. That's supposed Ooh. to be the next big fight. So okay. I think that's why they didn't pull him off the card. Because if he wins, he actually wins Connor's stripped title. Okay. Uh, so. Yeah, this I mean so this then, is WWE written. Oh man, that is so much money for that <laughs> oh, fight my for God, Connor yeah. to get his belt back against yeah, this. But guy. it's funny because all these guys, guys oh, man. all these guys keep rejecting the fight Connor. Or they keep yeah. they keep pulling out, which yeah. quote unquote it, Connor McGregor tweeted these guys pull out more times than I do my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that is the greatest <laughs> Connor ever. It's but, not uh, about right for him. One thing that's really also like driving me nuts are all these fans that are like, Oh, kick him out, he should be arrested, kick him out, uh, you should never be Able but to fight again. Everything else. But it's like uh, Mike Tyson raped a woman. Uh, Floyd Mayweather hit Allegedly. a woman. Uh, John multiple Jones times. hit a pregnant woman with his car and got multiple DUIs, field drug tests. UFC has covered up PED investigation and Ralphie Torres murder charges in the UFC. But yet, Conor McGregor, to some people, is the most vile villain in like combat sports. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but that's kind of key. That's kind of what makes me feel that the stunty side of things where yeah. it's like I, so I, much so worse has ha- you know because been, yeah. Yeah. McGregor's probably sitting but there just, thinking I'm not fighting le- for less than 100 mil yeah, Dana right, you so. better do some nuts <laughs> 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 to be fair though like, that's so true just because horrible behavior has been tolerated before it shouldn't have been you know well like, that's yeah. why like Tyson, and, Tyson, and, Maywe- Tyson uh, and Mayweather shit those dudes probably should have not ever boxed you know I guess yeah. you can't prove it with Mayweather but Tyson went to jail right Tyson? Tyson? Yeah. 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 He shouldn't have boxed again. He, no. <laughs> like, hey, he's, did he box again? He's better now. He yeah, came he back did. and bit off Evander Holyfield. So yeah. Know. Yeah. And then he uh-huh. got fought again when after he got that dumb face tattoo. Yeah. 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 Good for him. I find that stuff cool. Not like the violent stuff, but I'm just yeah. saying like the like biting off an ear and thing. Like that, that's cool to me. <laughs> <laughs> like that kid's like that's hype. I mean, that's that's kind of cool with me too. But, uh, you got to be. I, I like. I feel you know, horrible I like the for idea of Holyfield, man. <laughs> But I they're did. not gladiators. They're athletes. Like Evander Holyfield didn't sign up to have this year. Gladiators no. were athletes. They're, they're athletes, Griff. But, but but gladiators knew what they were getting into. Evander Holyfield got into a boxing match, not a biting match. I don't know. I also want to see animal fights, like bear versus croc, and <laughs> well, that's giraffes. what I, that's what I was gonna say though. Is like yeah. because what what I, what I think we love, or, or I think what Stouty was getting at too, is like it's not necessarily the sport. It's I mean, this whole podcast is really de- is dependent on crazy. Crazy people yeah. doing crazy shit. Yeah. And I think Mike Tyson very well has a own page in the crazy book. He has yeah. his yeah, own, for sure. Has a chapter. Chaps, he so, might have his own book. That's why Keith, uh, or I think Stasi said, like, you know, you love that shit. Well, I love it too. It's just because it's just, <laughs> that guy's crazy. I mean, yeah. You know yeah. I, mean? Like, I yeah. love the stories. It's yeah. like exactly. horrible and right. fucked up. And McGregor. Yeah. These exactly. things are crazy. But yeah, I want to talk about it. Like yeah. the yeah. fights so, that sell yeah. more pay-per-view buys are the fights that are featuring somebody who's either absolutely crazy or there's an actual story behind it and there's like history between the two and you're like, oh, who's going to win? Like, that's, and that's where professional wrestling comes in. And that's why professional wrestling is so popular because it gives you that story and, every time you watch a match. And or, everybody wants to, you know, watch a car crash too. So yeah, like yeah. You do want to see these exactly. athletes go down in flames sometimes. That's what people want. Like the day. The, the, the only thing America loves more than a hero is tearing one down, right? When so. I get to the point where I have enough money to where if my friends in trouble across the country, like across the world, I can just pack up and fly and go that's cause awesome. hell. <laughs> to be yeah, dope. Right. Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah. It'd be it, really you cool. can't? Yeah. <laughs> what he did was a professional. I barely had guests no. get from South County down no. here, bro. <laughs> what Connor did was not professional, but was it loyal and awesome as a friend? Yeah. Yes. Like that's to me that speaks volumes as a what kind of person he really is. Sure. I agree. So, I hadn't. I did not know the details of the story, and that's yeah, that's pretty cool. For sure. For sure. 
Okay, well, let, 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 let's, before we move on to the icebreakers, let's do one thing. I know we've said it before that if you guys go out to your, po- wherever you get your podcast, you search PWP Nation, you'll see Offended, right? Or at least on Apple Podcasts for yep. sure. But give us another couple of plugs for, for where, we can, where we can find Offended at. We got a Twitter now. Yep, yep. Hey, shout out. Yeah, we can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Offended Pod. And follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash offended. And you can buy our t-shirt Uh-oh. at www.prowrestlingtees.com slash offended dash podcast. Oh, nailed it. Very nice. Nailed it. Nicely done. Sounds okay. Like he had that thing recited. I have yeah. to do it before every episode. <laughs> oh, and you can follow our playlist on Spotify, Songs mm-hmm. of the Month. We do a new segment nice. on every episode now with Songs of the Week. And at the end of the month, we have a playlist that gets updated at the end of every Solid. month. Give us the song of this month. That's one of them. One of the songs of the month? Ooh, yeah. putting me on the spot. Uh, I, I like the song uh, Saturdays by uh, Twin, uh, was it Twin Shadow. Twin Damn. Shadow and Haim. All right. Okay. Let's check it out. All right, guys. What Can you, you sing it for me? <laughs> 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 That's a real, no. Uh, what, no. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a couple more beers and I will. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get right, this man drunk. Let's, let's, these let's, guests are horrible. They won't even sing for us. Yeah, well, Get them out of here. Kick these out of here. These guys. are. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, a, let's get on you, to the you. let's get on to some uh, some icebreakers before we hit the uh, you know move on with the, with the theory and, and the weekly awareness and all that, guys. I, let's keep it short. We'll keep it simple. We'll keep it basketball style. We'll keep it you know maybe uh, not not even NBA. We'll keep it like a fifteen second shot clock. We'll just you know maybe quick answers because we'll, we'll we'll do both you guys cool. uh, for each one here. We just got some questions. We like to know uh, not only for us to get to know you a little bit better, but obviously for everyone out there listening of of who they're looking forward to when they when they go over to PWP Nation and 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 check out Offended, wherever that may be. So, first question, right off the bat. Guys, ketchup or mustard? Ketchup. Ketchup. Ugh. Get them both out of here. Yeah. What's up, guys? I, I just got into mustard like two years ago. <laughs> I feel like I'm having deja vu. <laughs> That's not even a lie. He's starting to grow up. Yeah. I feel like I'm having deja vu again. <laughs> we get upset every time. Every yeah. time someone doesn't use fucking mustard. Glitch in the matrix. Next question. <laughs> My guys, kids or puppies? Puppies. Oh, puppies. That was quick. Oh, yeah. hey, puppies, Jared. I think we need to get rid of that one. Or that like was... really what the person who answers kids, we Wait. really kick them out. Do any of you? I mean, I, I think that, that. I, think, yeah. I think it really, like I think kittens? it tells you about somebody. What? You I like it kittens? Does. And, I, I mean, no, I enjoy kids. We don't like not like kids, but like puppies. Because I'll make the argument I say every time puppies turn into dogs. And kittens turn into cats. But you guys realize, you two though, Griff, cats. You, you guys realize Dogs that eventually cool. somebody will say, "Oh, I'm kittens all day." Then we're kicking them out. Well, I'm just saying. No, I think Fleming said kittens. Yeah, I and mean, guess what? He hasn't been on since. Then, so <laughs> that's all I'm saying. It's true. Um, next, next question: Are you guys Lufa or bar soap kind of guys, or other? There's other options. Other, too. definitely yeah. Yeah. other. Wash rag. Just the straight lather your body up. So yeah, I just know? just got in the Lufa game about four years ago. See, Lufa games. That's what. That's what's up. You, you're just I'm standing your hands on the street. Well, he's just, he's on, he's on the turned me on to Lufa. So I was like, oh, this is oh, genius. Lather these bad boys so out. Lufa, Lufa is the best way to go. But all right, next question. What food slash dish would you guys win an eating competition in? Very you gotta be very confident. Like that's that's your that's your thing. You're what, smashed. What can you eat goldfish. for days? Oh goldfish. I don't think you answered that way last time. Yeah. I don't want it. Well, hey, this is better. We don't have exactly answer. I like that. <laughs> eating competition? Like if it like, I could eat a whole box. Like just, just in what, front of me. Just what do you think you could crush no, like, the most of like, just like, peanut butter pie easily? What is a what peanut is butter pie? Oh, bro. Is that a, like a dessert, right? Yeah. It's, like, <laughs> it's, like a, <laughs> it's a graham crust. Shit ton of peanut butter, cool whip. Sounds weird. Cream cheese is in it. Oh, is that, that you keep, great. keep it cold, right? Keep it cold. Yeah, I've had that before. And you got like, a cool hot whip hot cup neck. icing, and then you got a <laughs> drizzle. Oh. Hey, dude, <laughs> get what? out to Fresh Time. All right. The uh, Spelt store. T-H. Yeah. I don't yeah. <laughs> they have honey roasted <laughs> peanut butter. Ooh. Oh, man. That it is. Good. Killer. It doesn't sound like a H. W- w- make <laughs> that into a cake. Fresh time is not paying us for this. Spot. Isn't, Isn't there a Y in there too? Yeah, T H Y M E, I think. Yeah. It's like the it's like the herb. It's like the herb, bro. Yeah. They spell good. Time. Time. Fresh time. C O R. No, not very often do we get desserts for that answer for that question. I like that. I like that. I'm a sweet guy. The indigestion is going to come in strong. We also don't. I like Todd's too because we don't really ever get snacks. You know, they're not snacky. Goldfish is kind of a bitch move though. They're small. Uh, I eat like I can have like that whole box though. I know we you need some original. Wa- you need a lot of water. Well, yeah, the original or the colored ones. Uh, whole grain. Oh, oh. get them out of here! What? Get them out! Jesus, whole grain? Not even it's, pizza? You might as well. Say I don't like kittens. pizza. Oh, you just my. Said, might as well. Say, <laughs> I will eat kids. Yeah. <laughs> You're no, right. That's a lot of fiber, man. 
<laughs> have you ever had it? What the whole grain goldfish? Yeah, it's a lot of fat. good. You gotta have a lot. Of, you gotta have a lot of water. Wait, what are we? A lot what, of water. Wait, yeah. What am I? What am I? What? It's all, I said. He said it's a lot of fiber. I thought you said I was offended. Ooh, Ooh. But, uh, I'm offended. Yes, that's our show. I might, I might have said that. Then I, I, did, that. Then I <laughs> did my job. I Griff lo- would work. I well. love it when He's they say Griff's the name. Easily offended. Love it when so. they say the name. Cheap plug. What? Uh, all right. Next question. What? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Mick Foley cheap plug. Yeah. <laughs> Any hidden talents slash bar tricks that we should know about? That maybe question. not many people don't might not know about. You know. Doesn't yeah, don't think of the bar trick side, more of the hidden talent side. If, if like, that's yes. easier, What's that I can hold my breath for a long time. I don't know you never. What know. can I mean, you do? We had we had a couple <laughs> people on where where their hidden talents were things that they would do like at a party. You know, like uh, we had a Jeremy on from uh, was it the the it's not the uh, uh, bomb bomb culture cast, pop culture bomb cast, bomb cast. Yeah. Yeah. like he his his thing was that he could he would open beer bottles with his wedding ring, and then that was like a, a party trick. Mm. God. Wasn't the last time I, I was on, I said I'd trained in professional wrestling? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. so. Yeah. I mean, that, that works. The Stouty, forearm anything shiver or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Because you, you yeah. fucked up. Uh, I know you got Claudius. something. Yeah. I don't know, Claudius. man. That's right. Like, no hidden talents, no nothing that you're just like weirdly good at. Things that you're just weirdly. Uh, you got a wicked wrist, a kid. Really I, I, was, I was really good at hockey at one point, but that's <laughs> was, not really a hidden talent. That's stuff people can do. Uh, I'm really good at kicking your ass in NHL. No, that's a lie. Oh, I've seen those videos. Man. Mm. <laughs> I used to be able to solve a Rubik's Cube pretty well. Oh, oh, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take yeah. it. I don't just, think I've ever done it. Yeah. I I've, had, once. I've had one for a very long time. I will, I'm will. i convinced that I will never be able to do that. Yeah. Just I, peel the stickers, bro. I have no... I have no <laughs> <laughs> I've even looked up formulas and shit how to really? turn oh, it right. That's, I still I, can't, that's I, how I, I still started. can't figure it out. I think it's yeah. always like seven moves away from being solved, something like that. Or I don't know. Something crazy. Well, some little assholes can just like close their eyes. Yeah. Now, next those people. The next thing is something that we I don't like them. They can do something like Rain Man. The next thing is is a repeating theme slash motif on the show. We actually just had episode last episode eighty five. Crack open a thesaurus today or something? What did you just what? say? What word did you shop? Motif got you? Yeah. That's a common, <laughs> that's a common, wor- that's a common word. I guess, I, yeah. I, I just don't hear you say it that often. Let's put it that way. Sorry, yeah. Keith couldn't figure out the microwave earlier. So. <laughs> it was the same as every other microwave in the world. <laughs> what? Some are different. Not really, though. You push a couple numbers and you hit start uh, and it'll go. <laughs> Or if you put your balls in there, they make it really big, like a hobbity hop. It's true. Oh. Buffalo. Yeah. I saw that. I saw that documentary. <laughs> uh, hobbity hop. Okay, go go ahead, Nick. Sorry. What is the most recent YouTube deep dive slash rabbit hole that you found oh, yourself? I got in? this one. You wait. Uh, <laughs> I did this yesterday. Actually, I did this two nights ago. Uh, oh fuck! No, I forgot it. Um, this is one of my favorite all-time questions. This is like something where I just meet somebody. I'm like, so what do you uh, what's the jail no, thing about being scared? Scared straight? Scared straight? Scared straight? Scared straight. Yeah. Dude, I got into a deep <laughs> hole. The other, like, I was playing NHL. Wasn't the th- second period ended? And I like was just watching interviews on my phone or whatever while I was playing, and then I came across this. And dude, I was like three hours later. It's like four <laughs> oh, a.m. Dude, man. I was. I've gone down deep. That, that bit I was oh, yeah. deep yeah. I've watched that dude. show many times. It was many funny. Times. I was laughing my ass off, man. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Ty, what about you? Yeah, go ahead. So every time I do this, I start off with like on YouTube, like with wrestling, and then go right into like top ten, like on Watch Mojo or something. But for some reason, on Watch Mojo on the side, there's always these like other like side videos, not from Watch Mojo, but it's like top ten like most horrifying things caught on camera, or, like uh, scariest things. I end up watching those. And it just takes me into like <laughs> a bunch of different videos with like just amateur YouTube like YouTubers making these weird like. <laughs> fucked up videos and I look down at the comments and the comment section's like well yep definitely deep 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 in the rabbit hole yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when the comments are when you, when you that's when you know you're 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 stuck in that that yeah. that black holes when the comments yeah. are like I don't know why I'm here it's like god damn it I'm, yeah, I'm here again. too yeah it's like yeah, yeah there was yeah. one that said like it 3 a.m. and I'm here again yeah. why the fuck yeah. why the fuck do I do this Either to that myself? or like you, you get like you the playlist that pops up you're like Oh fuck! I think I watched all of those. Yeah. I don't know. I'll watch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you just seen that one. Or yeah. you get excited, but you see that red line, meaning like you've already you watched, watched it. You're, you're like, like oh, damn man, I will go again. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, how about this? Is another thing that we bring up all the time is we love bad movies. Favorite bad movie off the top of your head? Sleepaway Camp. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it was not a popular movie. It's like a 1980 thriller where 
these kids go to camp in this ch- <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell it. I can't tell it. Actually, well, you'll probably know if we're watching. You can spoil alert. Gonna, are you, are you worried about, about a spoiler? alert? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, don't worry about that. Spoil. You're good. Spoil, yeah, yeah, so basically yeah, they go yeah. to sleepaway camp. People, These kids start dying. Turns <laughs> out... Oh, damn. This dude who thinks it's a chick, because she was like kidnapped or something by her uncle, but dressed her up as a girl like her whole life, his whole life. What? And then he kills him. What? And then the end of the movie is her on the beach with the guy who thinks he's a girl with holding his head. <laughs> She's naked. <laughs> what? Has a dick. <laughs> what? That's how it ends. It's so bad. It's good, bro. It's Do you nuts. see the dick? Yeah. But it's <laughs> just like, it's like a, uh, like a, European statue dick like stunt oh, dick. So, yeah, it's so <laughs> dick it was the, it was the craziest thing just standing there with his head just naked by the beach well, yeah. I can't, and it I ends mean, and the dude's just like oh my god she's a boy <laughs> <laughs> she's dude. a boy it's the best worst movie ever. okay, okay. Solid. Right, um, yeah, um, I think the most cliche thing to say would probably be the room but mm. um, yeah, uh, I would agree with that statement but uh, <laughs> mine's probably Suburban Commando old uh, Hulk Hogan movie from like 1989 <laughs> nice. with uh, Christopher uh, Lloyd's in it. Wow. It, uh, I think The Undertaker's in it as well as like one of like the <laughs> bad guys. Nice. It's uh, it's actually a really fun movie. Super fun movie. Terrible special effects. Terrible acting by from Hogan. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, Three Ninjas was his prime. Oh, oh, wow. wow. What? I actually still want an Oscar. Well, let me tell you something, brother. This, I'm a ninja brother. This is one I want to expand to you guys because I, I always love hearing I, if, if you're changed. Keith, I'm pretty sure I know your answer. Mine's easy. It's always going to be over the top. Always, not Always stop. going to be over the top. Griff, what about you? I don't know if we've. Okay, I'm going with uh, Evil Bong. Oh, oh wow. God. Have I seen it? No, that sounds I have. terrible. <laughs> I have. <laughs> Of I have. course you have. We watched Dude. that in high school a yeah, long yeah. time I watched ago. it in high school, too. That's I a, remember it. So it's a, it's, I believe oh, it's you, take a hit from the, you take a hit from this bong, and it takes you to like a, a evil strip club yeah. where like these stripper <laughs> monsters kill you. The, well, that's yeah. no good. And the bong talks, and it's like an evil woman. Yeah. Bong. And they a, made a, s- a sequel. Yeah, there's more than one. Called uh, <laughs> Evil Bong King Bong, which is <laughs> does slightly different. You... I you shit. watched the second I one? Seen, I think I did watch the second one at some point. I don't remember what the second one's about. Oh, so yeah. it's it's not as good as the original, of course. Like it's a yeah. very similar plot. I have a question <laughs> for everybody. Would you consider A Night at the Roxbury a bad movie? I would I'd not, not consider it a good movie. I, I, can, right. I actually... No, well, I, I enjoy I, it. I think, I I think it, it is. I think that that's that's what we love, though. That's a good, bad movie. Yeah. It's I mean, hilarious. that's not a great but, movie, but it is good. Be, but it, like if you're talking about actual cinema and like... Yeah. You know, like uh, if we're talking like... The way I look at it is like... A good movie is something that, like, a film school would analyze and critique. Like, you're never going to catch that, but, like, who doesn't love that movie, though? Yeah. That's, yeah. Like, that's a good, bad movie. If you nail a lot of Will Ferrell movies are great, bad movies. Yeah. That's you know what, what I, mean? I think if you nail what you're going for, it's yeah. not a bad movie. Yeah. yeah. I think they nailed what they were going well, for. Well, yeah. So. No doubt. Cups with their then again, you, yeah. Who <laughs> says Doug? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a classic. Um, for me, just I'm not even going to explain it, but I, I think one of my one of my all time faves is probably Ginger Dead Man. And that's, that's a good one. Oh, it sounds God. good. It's good. It's yeah. good. Okay, next question. Do you guys uh, are you guys left hand? If we're talking one arm drivers, are you a left hand or a right hand driver on the wheel? I switch more mostly. I guess probably, or majority. I guess I'm time. mostly I pay, left. I put my hand on the wheel. Yeah, I'm, I'm left. I'm left handed. So. Oh, nice. Oh. Another lefty. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally get another lefty in here. Good. <gasps> Weirdo. So I can put my right hand on bay. So. <laughs> oh, there you go. You got it. Said it. All right, Keith. I know you want to hit it with them, man. Hit it with it. Crunchy or soft tacos? Soft. That was quick, Keith. That was real quick. Stop what he's thinking. I hate crunchy tacos. You can't decide. It just gets everywhere. My taco. Yeah, but meat I can dive out. so deep in this conversation. It's like crunchy supreme or... <laughs> Like, do you get the, the what is it, the cheesy gordita? Did you got crunch? the soft shell, but you got the hard shell inside. Soft oh, shell, bro. You got that's the, the way to go, because that actually saves the hard shell from getting it everywhere. But I, I digress. Dude, you right, can nachos. I'll, more or less, I'm getting soft tacos. Okay. Fair enough. But I usually get two soft and one hard. That's what you so said. soft wins. Mm-hmm. Oh, he does. Okay. He makes it up. Okay. <laughs> Touche. Griff, any questions that you would like to throw out there? Anything? No. My last question. My, my, my last question. What I'd like to end it on is 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 uh, for the for the local here, and uh, you know, it's one of the one of the staples of being a St. Louisan, of coming and meeting other St. Louisans. It's it's a question we know the answer, but what high school did you guys go to? 
Viani, both of us. Be high, bro. The wrong Marianist school. On the Griffins side. till I ride. Just jealous you didn't go there. <laughs> Griffins till uh, you ride. Totally could have. I don't know. Dude. I, I, I'll be honest. <laughs> I, I didn't enjoy much of my time. I was down the city with you, you. That is time. Yeah, that is <laughs> like, true. I didn't hang out with Viani. I was gonna say I hung out with more Oakville people when I went to Viani. Yeah. So. All right, well, guys, listen, we appreciate you doing the icebreakers. I think well, we definitely got a little bit to, better of knowing you, but yeah, everyone like, out there listening for sure did. Now, I feel like we're family now. <laughs> yeah, we're all we're, we're one now. Now, and that, and that I think that's a, Griff, that's a good segue, man, because what I want to talk about before we get to the theory of the week, just one topic, and that's what we just did before we got on air. And oh, yeah. I'm not sure how to bring this up, but speaking of family, we all, we all just did something together, and that is, I'm going to let Keith break this down, but we just tried something. And for everyone out there listening, we want, if you have had this before, ever, we want to hear from you. Okay. Gross. Anything but credible at gmail.com. There's nobody. Or anything but credible yes. com. And that is, that thing is cheese on your pancakes. Okay. Keith, now I know what you're thinking, but Keith, first of all, you are big. You're, you're big on this. Okay. This is like, well, maybe not big, but this has become yeah. your thing. Can you give me a quick history slash what is this? Why is this even a thing? And what? And also tell me the story of what you told me before we got on the mic of, of how you got these, these or what the conversation was when you ordered these oh. pancakes. Okay, so uh, <laughs> yeah, it all started in high school. Me and Nick recorded a song called Cheese on My Pancakes. <laughs> and I didn't want to be a poser. So I had to try it. Had to be legit. I had to try the cheese on my pancakes. And uh, yeah, I've been hooked ever since. I I can honestly say I'm a cheese on my pancake addict. <clears throat> but. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Weird. Uh, no, no. And what uh, kind of cheese are we talking Which is American? Just slice of American. Okay. Now this is probably grossing a lot of people out, but t- tell me, tell explain the conversation that you told me earlier about you ordering. What happens when you order this? Oh, I get very odd looks. Um, the waitress went back and said, "Okay, I got a weird one for you. <laughs> Guy out there, he wants cheese on his pancakes. Kick him out." <laughs> the chef looks at her and goes, "That doesn't sound bad. <laughs> I try go. that. There you go. So yeah, so I forced these guys to try it. They weren't impressed, but it's. I think it, it was I, lacking cheese. It needs more it, cheese. It needs more. God cheese. damn it! It needed more cheese. <laughs> I know. I should have." Well, that is the I problem. I should have ordered more cheese. And I want Swiss. No, you Ew, don't want yeah. Swiss, mm. man. Want that, Swiss. that is the problem. And I do have to, I got to give Uncle Bill's, I got to give you give you some shit, man, because they gave do us it. a triple stack. Three pancakes, only one one slice on top, not even in the middle. A slice like, of right. American cheese, like a craft single, people. Yeah, but not even, like, if you're only going to give one slice, at Dude. least put it in between two yeah. of them. You know what I mean? Would, at least that way you touch it. Sandwich Dude, it. I, asked. I thought it was gross. Sandwich for it. slices on each. It's Todd, tricky. Todd, Todd, you did you not guys, like the it. only one with a strong opinion. Yeah, on this. you yeah. guys, you guys tried this with us. What are you? What, first of all, what was your thoughts? For I know we talked about this last week in Stoutsy, but <laughs> this is going on for a month. The, <laughs> yeah. the first time <laughs> that was you was on your Twitter. That's what that picture was. Yeah, yeah it was, I get it now. The first time that you guys even heard that, what was your thoughts? Secondly, what was it? T- what was it like tasting this? I didn't like it. It was just like <laughs> it, I can't. My mouth was like I think it's sweet, but I think it's not sweet. Like, are you just, are you a pancake guy though? You don't do like, the savory, I do. Or sweet I do and like savory. The, you know who I picture eating this? Honestly, I pictured that drunk David Hasselhoff video of him on the floor, <laughs> just <laughs> the barely like yeah. He's like taking like such a yes. long time of eating. That's what I'm picturing. Yes, like, replace Hasselhoff with Keith, and yes, you <laughs> have it. Was the first time you had it really drunk, Keith? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a German sensation now. I'm in. Cool. What about you, Stoutsy? I tore down so, the wall. <laughs> My first time you performed before it. they tore down the wall. <laughs> first time I heard it, it was probably a month ago or after. And I was just like, No, you jammed the song in high school. Probably. <laughs> I probably was jealous. Yeah, there's a song. I was jealous I wasn't on it. <laughs> Griff loved it. But I was like, No, dude, you're crazy. Like, that's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. And you're. We thought it was like, have you ever heard of McGriddle? And I'm like, well, yeah, but like there's sausage. So like that's an extra ingredient, which you agreed. Yeah, you got a point, which I knew I had a point. <laughs> but it wasn't that you can't taste it. And honestly, I don't know if, if there was more cheese. I don't think it would make a difference. Here's my opinion. Okay. 
mix the cheese in the pancake batter. Like oh, shredded. Oh my Whoa. god. Whoa. My yeah, like a cheddar bay. It's like pancake. a cheddar it's like a cheddar biscuit, but a cheddar pancake. Whoa. Cheddar bay pancake. Keith mine. I wish you could all see Keith's face right now. That way it's mine. It's all mine in there, alone man. right now. Seriously. This Sunday I'm making pancakes. <laughs> it's set. <laughs> go it's buy do. dude, go buy the cheddar bay mix stuff. From the store, yeah. and mix that gonna make biscuits, not mix pancakes. it into your pancake batter. <laughs> I would try double it. down. It, it wasn't bad. It just it didn't it didn't really affect the taste for me. Like if I got you two point, I pretty much I, I told you I'd give an honest opinion. My honest 10. opinion was it's not bad. Hey, it's and bad. out of ten, I'm giving you seven point two because you went to Uncle Bill's. I wish get, it would have been homemade, a little more love, but I'll give it a five <laughs> because it's, it was neither good. I nor can't bad. even work a microwave. How do you expect me to make pancakes? <laughs> I don't know what your skills are, bro. <laughs> Keith, also, we got. I'll get, help you, Keith. We gotta give we'll him a little work credit. together you, on you this. Thanks, no, you did get screwed on the cheese, though. I will give you. Did. Yeah. I did. I so did, man. I, you know what? I will give it a second chance if it ever comes around. Okay, I will not. We leave bombers one night. out. We head up to Uncle Bill's. Head right there. I'm saying though, shredded. Mixed in the mm. pancake batter. Yeah. Dude, that sounds great. All right, guys. Well, listen. I might request that. They're not, they ladle it out. They will not specify oh, batter they for will, you. Yeah, they will not. You're welcome. <laughs> not how about do. that? I, yeah, it's I, a you, batter when they that? sprinkle it out on the skillet. Just if you. Hey, how about that? For, I flipped the, the pancake. Bill, maybe. Right? Yeah. Maybe. I flipped the pancake game on you. Get it? Gross. Gross. Flat I, I, yeah. Oh, God. It was nice playing words. Gross. Nice playing words. Almost poetic. All right. Well, listen. Any any other hot takes or anything before we get to the theory week? Get get the. The wheels rolling here. Nothing. Uh, got nothing. Okay, let's no. let's get into it. Um, what do you guys say? Should we? It would it be weird if we, we we've been playing your guys's ad for every in between right about this time and every episode? Would it be weird if we played your own ad on the episode that you're on? <laughs> on podcast? It's a bit redundant, I think so. but no. do it. So. Okay, well let's so. see, let's see. let's <laughs> can't get enough plugs. We're on. gonna take yeah. a quick second <laughs> and listen to these two dudes that are sitting in here right with us right now. <laughs> They've already told you how to find the podcast, but they're about to tell you again from the it's past. It's either that or they're we, about to tell you that or we just cut a promo right now. It's like an ad inside of an ad. You want to try and cut a promo? <laughs> you want you want to try and wing it? And just, just cut a promo. And give me give me a give me a twenty five second promo right now. We, we about to get a live promo. This is the inception we, of plugs. Should we try and cut it like an eighties like wrestlers? I can't I can't think that hard. Well, let me tell you something, fans of Ooh, ABC, yeah. anything but credible podcast brothers. <laughs> He's here, he's and stouty and we're at the ABC podcast. And we want you to check out the offended it's podcast, be, brother. It's supposed to be Macho Man. It's Macho Man. It's not constipated. It sounds uh, like <laughs> Kermit almost. I like it. <laughs> and you can follow... I can't do it. I'm just going to... All right. You know what? You can just follow Offended on Twitter at Offended Pod. On Instagram at Offended Pod. Go follow us or go listen to us on Apple Podcasts. There's PWP Nation. You'll find us. Go buy our t-shirt at www.prowrestlingtees.com slash offended-podcast. Oh, I almost passed out. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that's it. Is it? Live plug. ad? Okay. Plug game strong. Dude, hey, you, not often do you get a live I, live plug. I, I like a live ad, Dude, I we just got like a live that. read. Cool. If oh, Yeah, if we were oh, no. prepared for like just by two minutes, that would have been. <laughs> I, I need to work through. on my macho man. Yeah, man. That, throw that macho man's bad. I, I feel brother. like I started <laughs> off all right. But then it's like, oh, yeah, brother, I'm <laughs> taking a shit right now. <laughs> uh, well, we appreciate it, guys. All well right, done. so there you go. Well My bad. You heard, you, you, you heard him. But now, what, what that what that signals is, or signifies, I should say, is it's time this week. Theory of the week. Griff, what do you have for us, man? Well, before I get started, I just want to say this is a nice got <laughs> Larry Flint's Hustler Club stress ball. Oh, yeah. Uh, you we never know Mardi Gras. what you find in the studio, Griff. You never know. <laughs> I heard if nice. you wipe off the paint, it actually just looks like a ball sack. Because it's from Larry Flint. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Griff. I'm going to put it in. Mm-hmm. I was going to give him the recorder. Sound, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, <laughs> you, never, you never know what you might find in the studio, Griff. Can you play? Can you play a note of this wooden recorder real quick? You want me to play mask off? Where's this thing been? Um, uh, it's been sitting right here. Yeah, sure. It's clean. Does it smell? <laughs> Just give me a couple notes. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. Okay. You should learn. Get back to you should learn trap songs baby. on the recorder. Uh, <laughs> that's what Nick wants me to do. Le- learn trap songs. <laughs> yeah. Mask off. Mask off. Fuck it. That'd be fucking off. hilarious. <laughs> All right, Griff. Right. What do you got for us, man? So, what do you chumps know about Utsi? <laughs> what? What? what is an Uzi? Uzi? Check. Uzi. Anybody know anything about Uzi? The Uzi oh, Spider? Man. You guys don't know about Uzi? No. Uzi? Alright. Well, my man Uzi was this dude <laughs> who lived approximately 5,000 years ago. 
No shit. Somewhere between 3,100 BCE and 3,300 BCE. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not gonna go too deep into who Utsu was. Uh, da- Daniele Bolelli uh, does a great uh, History on Fire podcast about him. If you want to check it out, okay. But uh, unlike Daniele, I do not plan to approach this subject in an academic or intellectually honest manner. Uh, <laughs> why? Why do you have to have a disclaimer? Just because. You know, Griff. He can't. Yeah, he, that's, he doesn't want anyone true. to think that he's act at any <laughs> any percentage of a real. Conspiracy theorist. I'm not he Alex has Jones. to make sure that everyone knows <laughs> that, that not he's not. Alex not. <laughs> 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 so, I want that com. <laughs> That's All one right. way to seriously offend him, honestly. Yeah. Call him Alex Jones. <laughs> I'm so no, happy we. I know this now. Because it's Bill Hicks. Dude. Doesn't offend me. He is Bill Hicks. Because he's Bill Hicks. <laughs> you little turd. Of All right. What I will tell you is before uh, the end of Uzi's life, he had a pretty rough couple of days. So Uzi got into a fight at some point. Had like defensive wounds on his hands. He got stabbed a couple times, broken ribs. Who has? Um, yeah, yeah. And then Uzi night. was like took yeah. off into the mountains and was probably being hunted, pursued for like the last couple of days by other humans. By so- yeah, by or some, animals. By, uh, other humans. Okay. Yeah, uh, because it was like knife wounds. Shit. Um, okay. So then Uzi seemed to think he finally slipped his pursuers. He sat down and ate like a steak, some sort. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. Uh, so yeah. he slaughtered a cow. And- he might have had it on him, some dried okay. beef. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're good, you're good. You're good. Uh, totally. Understand. Anyway, Uti was wrong. So within a couple hours of him like eating this big meal, <laughs> Uti got got. <laughs> <laughs> Uti was done for. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, where am I at? How did he get got? Uh, I think he got stabbed. Again. <laughs> <laughs> he's so he's the 50 cent of back in the day yeah he got nice. stabbed nine times except yeah. he did not walk away um <laughs> mm. so who killed Uzi? <laughs> hard to say his, his where's bro- waldo his, i mean it's his bro- great question his Florida. brother pootsie <laughs> no his no. wife's lover la Ruzzi? no <laughs> these aren't real people i made these people up um <laughs> so funny griff could be <laughs> the thing is guys i'm not here to solve this murder Kazuchi's story does not end here. It just gets put on ice for a while. Oh, oh boy. I feel like I'm like watching in person like a real drunk history and I'm picturing like in my mind like this all happening, but with your voice like narrating it like over it. <laughs> it's pretty much what we yeah, should we yeah. should make a video of this. We could do that. <laughs> Great idea. Okay. So yeah, literally put on ice for about five thousand years. Uh, he was covered in snow, ice, and eventually a glacier. He was in such a place that he was like uh, That's four different bucket. forms of ice. <laughs> well, it started with the snow. And then we went with the ice, and then a glacier came over at some point. Then the glacier went away, and then there was still ice there. Back and, off me. And then there was a <laughs> hockey game played over him. Yeah, yeah. It was, he was found in the Italian Alps. So I don't know, yeah, I don't know about that. that. That'd be tough. Uh, but, <laughs> so he was so Italian. Uzi had That's been... Good to know. Yeah, he was right in the Italian, not, Uzi sounds Italian, like, Austrian right. border, like hey, literally. Uzi, said, Uzi, you know? See, <laughs> how you doing? He could have been Italian or Austrian. And over the border, you know? It sounds yeah. like a response that someone would say, like in Italian, like "How's that pizza?" That would be like a response. Oh, like, Uzi. 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 Well, I'm sure the goddamn Italians Italian Italian named him guys. Who's in Italy? Doesn't mean. It's... Okay. Thanks. Go on. <laughs> no problem. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, in 1991, his incredibly intact body was found. What a with, great year. With clothes, that's almost as good as 90, uh, <laughs> clothes, weapons, uh, his body. When they found him, people, the, the climbers who found him thought he was like a recent, like some, a mountaineer that had died like within the last couple oh, of years, okay. year or so. Um, so, over the next couple of days, they continued thinking that, and all these people came up, and like they started like trying to remove his body with like, crude tools like a jackhammer to get him out of this ice and shit um, and obviously not how you'd go about like a super sensitive archaeological yeah, find probably not eventually some mountaineer came up and like looked at his shoes and this might be like the most significant example of oh, oh, what are those <laughs> what are those because he looked at he's like what are, what are those Damn, those don't it's... look like fucking mountain mountaineering shoes uh they weren't. They're just like some animal skin tied around his feet. But they were fly at the and time. And then they, they found this axe <laughs> sure. right by him that was a completely bronze axe. It's like people don't use bronze right. axes. Um, so they pieced together. It's like, oh, this dude's old. Like, really old. Uh, the ice. Anyway, <laughs> so a lot of people in this time disturbed, you know, super insensitive with his resting space. Um, 
came up, disturbed it. Eventually, they took him out and removed him from the place where he had been resting for I five that smell five thousand years. Which, as like Tom Cruise would tell you from his recent uh, documentary, mm. The Mummy, mm. don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Don't. Go fucking with old mummies resting spots, you know? Like they get pissed. That's yeah. day one shit. Yeah. Especially when they were murdered. The when they died like in an unhappy way and then you fuck with their well, resting especially spot. Especially Tom Cruise. They get pissed. You think he'd learn where Brendan Fraser left off. Like, yeah, Brendan like, Fraser also learned this lesson. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. Look Show what happened to him. him. I can't believe you didn't he's see back. that movie. We can talk <laughs> about that Fraser's, later, but he's no, back. Tom, Tom Cruise just be like, Show me the mummy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Show me the mummy. Uh, I see what you did there. I see. That was very punny. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's enough, Keith. <laughs> sure, you could have started the episode right. with that. Getting called out on my own show. <laughs> <laughs> what do you find upon me? What do you want from me? All right, guys. So what's what winds up? What starts happening here? Though this is where the the theory really kind of kicks okay, in. Here we go. Here we go. Everybody, or tons of people that came into contact with this body, moved this body, had something significant to do with this body, to start dying. Oh, oh no! Shit. Started dying young. You're back on my curse corner, it's the guys. Curse. It's the yeah. curse, man. This is known as the curse of the Ice Man. Ooh, um, curse of the Ice Man. So Kurt Fritz, um, and all of these fucking names Fritz, are so like German sounding. It's ridiculous. <laughs> just try your best, bro. Yeah. Try. No, no, I can say them, but it's oh, just all so okay. like right, okay. these are Austri- people living in the goddamn Alps. Clearly, uh, so <laughs> Kurt Fritz, who led the expedition to the body uh, when they went up there. Um, he died, in, and he was like an extremely famous uh, mountaineer who climbed Everest multiple times. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, he died. So he's crazy. In an avalanche, uh, like a couple years later. Damn. Um, Helmet Simon, uh, who was also part of the expedition. His name is Helmet. Hel- yeah. <laughs> Helm H E L M U T. Helmut nice. Simon. Very uh, nice. Sweet name. Uh, was one of the people who discovered it. He, he died in the Alps. Uh, he disappeared. Uh, well, up in the Alps at one point, was found eight days later. Uh, and he had fallen over 300 feet to his death. Oh, no, no, should have let him rest there. Like, Uchi. also, an experienced mountaineer. Um, list goes on. Dieter Warchnik, that one's hard to say. She's uh, died of a heart attack <laughs> hours after. Uh, he, he went to Simon's funeral, Helmet Simon's funeral. And then he died hours oh, later no. of a heart attack. Oh my god, it's a chain uh, reaction right god. now. Con- Conrad Spindler, the world's leading expert on Uzi, died after making a joke about the curse. <laughs> uh, he says something to the effect <laughs> of, next thing you know, they're going to say I'm next. And he was next. I feel uh, like there have been Uzi jokes made by all so, of us. So, so we, Rainer, we shot. all may die for this. Oh, no. Thanks, Jeff. Be Thanks. <laughs> I'm really happy I came on this fucking podcast yeah, now. Uh, you didn't know it was a death wish <laughs> over here oh, walking shit. into this room. I thought it was a good story. You know? <laughs> again. I hate you. Uh, Rainer Holtz, uh, the only person allowed to film the recovery of Uzi's body, died from a brain tumor days after finishing the film. Oh, shit. Did these people not learn from the people before? It, is, it keeps going. And so that's where I'm going to stop. <laughs> but uh, there are many other <laughs> questionable deaths that like Uzi truthers uh, link to the, they link them to the expedition uh, I, kind I of mean, tenuously somewhat. But I mean, the list goes on and yeah. on and on, right? You, you know how, like, King Tut's shit like, goes on tours to museums? Yes. Like, please tell me Uzi's doesn't. I think Uzi's just is, like a plague that I, spreads. I think he's in an Italian museum. I don't think he's It'd in be a great museum. movie, though. Dude, that. Man. Yeah. Then they just, you just, you just brought a bunch you of just thought of a screenplay. So, um, you're welcome, world. I, I got a theory now. now, since you're putting all this voodoo shit on us. Does that mean well? We exists? have to come in contact with him, oh, so okay. we're good. We're good. But I thought well, somebody made the joke though. Conrad, but he was in contact. I'm, I'm, he sure, was the Conrad, leading I'm sure Conrad must have came in contact with Uzi at some point. Say, yeah. ooh, maybe everybody listening to the episode then laughing at us would. Yeah. Also oh my be, god! I'm oh, creating sh- like a, the ring. Yeah. You will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love this Uzi guy. <laughs> He's so I'm good. Oh, yeah. Don't be kissing ass. Uzi, I'm good. Uzi, we're putting we're, we're, we're just the last one. Uzi, what, 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 what we are doing here? Uzi is putting out a PSA to not fuck with you. All right, oh, look at so, Chris like, making. Uh, there we go. Don't okay. fuck. Uh, okay. Don't bully. Yeah. Uh, yeah don't bully go. the Ice Man. Uh, Conor anyway. McGregor. Some deep life lessons so, in here that Griff didn't even know about. Curse of the Ice Man. <laughs> real or fake? Oh, I mean, well, hold on. Can we? Hold on. Can we? Let me start by saying this. We had we do even though we made jokes or whatever and it, you know the theory is the theory sorry, but yeah, sorry, we see. do have we do have to um, at least think about the the thought that people did die in a weird like uh, I mean final I gotta, destination type of what not like the yeah. movies obviously but 
They were in the it, mountains. It is always a weird thing when people oh. that are all associated with one thing. Already started to shit them out there. <laughs> one way or another, die here, die here, and they're all like if all people associated with one general topic, but they all die in somewhat of a s- similar span. Yeah. I mean, that's always a, a weird thing, right? I mean, the right. last time, theory, I don't know if it was your last theory, but the Power, Power Rangers, Rangers was kind of in the same, yeah. same book. I mean, that's always a weird thing. Yeah. Now, and there are actually, as far as curses go, like we, we've all heard of like, you know, the Southern voodoo, like, Louis, you know, the old school, like those are all myths and stories, but there are people out there that generally, and a lot, specific, I don't know the specific cultures, but there are cultures out there that believe in curses and, and sure. whatnot. Does, does anybody here believe Haitians, in any Haitians kind of big on it. curse, black magic, any kind of yeah. stuff like that? The St. Louis Blues. Oh, uh, wow. I was just saying, I'm pretty superstitious when it comes to hockey. Wow. Cursed. I, um, does believing in like a serendipity, is that kind of like voodoo? Uh, explain. I, I'm not sure I, I like follow that. that everything one. affects something. It's kind of pretty much serendipity. Oh, like a ripple in the pond type yeah. thing? I guess that would I be don't so know. much... I kind of hear what you're saying. But serendipity is usually not a bad thing. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. This is more I, I, I think serendipity is probably... Yeah, I don't think that's... It, 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 it depends to what degree to what, yeah. you believe in it. Yeah. Re- serendipity is just a fun word to say, honestly. It is. It is. Serendipitous. Yeah. It makes me feel so smart. Serendipitous. It's like motif. Yeah. Keith. Yeah. yeah go I just for think... It. I, when, when, weird, when weird things like this happen, I, always, I try to think of it in like a real life, like personal, if it would affect me personally, like there would be, you know, if... Like Keith is doing some construction work tomorrow. If he stumbles upon something in the floorboards that he didn't know about, and Leave suddenly it alone, one Keith. person, <laughs> one by one by one by one, people start dying. Like, is that something that would make you believe in something, a story, uh, essentially like this? Whereas, or is this just a story? If it had news articles with it, I'm believing it. Or is this just there are a, news articles? <laughs> is this just a story that some people either created or exaggerated highly to maybe get some kind of you know? I mean, we talk about this all the time of people trying to. Maybe back in the day, they were trying to start some kind of uh, monetize it in some way or like some Bible. kind of attraction. <laughs> yeah, I mean, good Very sure. much so like the you Bible. Know, I mean, or is, this, <laughs> or is this just a story, a bullshit story that people tried getting some, some publicity or, or recognition for at some point? I mean, or that's is, what I'm asking. Or is there a dead ice man who's really pissed off and killed yeah. people? Right. That's uh, what I'm saying. Uh, ice man. Yeah. There's, just, there's definitely a spirit out there. Uchi. Griff, you bought it to us, man. Start off the conversation. All right. Um, so I'm going to shit on my own theory like I always do. Uh, yeah, no, I'm fun. I'm a bundle of fun. Um, so mm-hmm. just like I said in the Power Rangers theory, in You're any theory that involves a bunch of people dying, is uh, people die. The end of every story is people dying. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Eventually. But, the but the was it caused by the curse? Yeah. But it's like all, the, uh, yes, everybody that came in contact with DC died. Like, play it out fucking 30 years, of course. Everybody, you know, all these people were in their 50s and 60s when they discovered them. They're gonna die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm so pleasant. Um, also, these people were a bunch of them were mountaineers who went and did dangerous climbs and died in, in dangerous places, and they died. <laughs> um, no, so yeah, people die. But <laughs> we got. I think. Uh, um, I, I, Do people I die? We got. I'm not Our sure. Listeners are loving. This I'm not sure um, if you hit that point. Yeah. Is that how that whole thing so works? So we're not immortal. Everybody, you know. So you love uh, your grandparents, you, don't you? Hulk Hogan is the immortal brother. Um, <laughs> <laughs> per, give me a percentage, Griff. Yeah. Five. Oh. 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 I'll be optimistic. No, I, that's I mean, that's bullshit too. Zero. Only five wow. percent of people die. You don't. <laughs> Zero percent on your own theory? Wow. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. believe that. It's, it's, it's a regular thing. Yeah, Keith, yeah. what about you? Let's yeah. skip over to you. What about you? <laughs> <sighs> I'm going 85. Wow, that's high. 85 percent, and uh, I'm taking the Uzi name and bringing it to the ring. Oh, Uzi the Ice Man. Oh, I'm gonna New start wrestling? my wrestling. Ice Man Uzi. Oh, wow. I named my firstborn Uzi's, child. Uzi. I'm telling you, that's a, Uzi it's, a, it's a solid name, man. That's a solid name. <laughs> well, we all know Jeezy's the Ice Man. Let's well, just, no, I Chuck mean, Liddell's the Ice Man. Well, uh, that's pretty Wasn't cool. there a serial killer? Too? I think there's been a bunch of Iceman. Yeah, actually. I yeah. mean, Iceman Paul Wall. Yeah, there's that's a true. lot of Iceman out there, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Ice, uh, Sitting inside with Seymour Hoffman. Was that okay. Yeah. Iceman? Not original okay. enough. I'm sticking to Ootsie. <laughs> Ootsie's cool, though. But the Iceman curse. Sub Zero. Just going to add the That curse. could be like so, your yeah. thing, though. What do they call yeah. it? Like, that could be your signature move. Yeah. Like, curse. Uh, uh, 85%. Too many people died. 
people, okay. people offended, die, people. offended fellas. <laughs> what, where are we at percentage wise? What do you guys think? Of, first of all, like, what do you guys think about this? Second of all, like, hit me with some percentages. Well, when he said that people that joked about him died, <laughs> it really changed the tone uh, yeah. of this conversation. <laughs> a, a, a little bit of pee came out. Like, uh, got a little scared. Um, yeah, the room feels kind of weird now. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. vibe changed because of that. Thanks, a little bit cold. No, I but think I it was all here. the time he said people die. <laughs> It's a little, I, only like seven, I only said like seven or eight times. <laughs> like, damn up. it. We, we were all, everyone was pounding their head into the table and just like, yes, yes. But it's because I'm right. I'm going to go. Percent over. I'm going to go with probably like 10%. Oh, oh okay. okay. Just not feeling this? No, not, because, not into curses? No, because if they're that old, 60 years old, <laughs> well, they're going to die. But they're like. <laughs> they died at like 50. They died in like their 50s. Okay, but like people. they're also climbing like these very dangerous mountains, obviously, yes. too. So. I mean, accidents happen. How many people have been looking for Uzi? Safety is no accident. What they weren't looking for him. <laughs> oh, they weren't looking for him. They randomly found <laughs> him. Uh, it was. I left that out. It was like freak weather conditions that allowed for him to be is found. There He's a, been completely covered in ice for. Is there a stat that shows anybody else randomly finding him and still being alive? No, it like mm. basically he had. No, I don't know. I'm sure there are. See, so Flawed. my question is. <laughs> Have thoughts. people still come in contact with him, like you said, or did yeah, somebody? A, he's at a museum, but did somebody figure this out and said, <laughs> it's "Ghostbusters too. Man, all these people keep dying because they come in contact with him. I'm gonna just end it all and like bury him or hide the fuck out of him, like you so nobody else oh. dies." Well, I think we need yeah. to return ET to his resting place. All right, that's how these movies go. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that's the rule, man. Yeah. He's got to put him back up in that like, glacier. Somebody yeah. had, and then like, like a friendly enough spirit enough. will float out of his his mummified corpse and like, yeah, give you a wink and, yeah. and take off. I mean, Boom. listen, yeah. I, if I was somewhat <laughs> cursed, I'd be pissed if they just the rest of eternity I was in a glass case with people. Like I got by. murdered. I got murdered, murdered and then I was resting for 5,000 no, like, years and then you people. fucks. I would legit curse I'm people. Just, I would be like, fuck I'm that. Came up, started making fun of my shoes and woke me up. He's like, a little cranky. Off. He's a little that's cranky. True, man. You got it. That's true. We didn't think about it. We did not explain that too. These people were ragging on his shoes and yeah. everyone knows you talk about the shoe game. I mean, that's automatic. Scuffed right. my sneakers. Because 5,000 years ago, those shoes were probably the dopest. It's probably how the curse started. The dude was making fun of his Animal straps or whatever you. What are those? Were, yeah. What are those? And he was just like, you motherfucker. Those gotta be good shoes like too. Jesus that last that long? Yeah. yeah. Well, well pre uh, preserve it. Well, whatever they were, preserved in yeah, ice, ice, right? Yeah. That's true. So Deep layers of do ice. Do you think he's the first person to ever wear like a closed shoe since then they were making fun of him because it wasn't like the Jesus sandals? Mm -hmm. I don't know. They were weird shoes. Apparently, you, you could pay like compartments in them that you could like stuff grass in them for, like, the original insulation. Yeezys oh <laughs> no it's a gel, like a gel sole like today's like oh. I think it was for like insulation more but yeah kind of because they were like uh, Mc, what do they call them was Jellens McJellens yeah what do yeah. they call them? <laughs> what do they call them? Like Dr. Shows? Dr. The Shows. Damn, pants? Daniel. Yeah, Dr. Shows. What is it? Uti yeah, yeah, was Jellens like a felon. Dr. Like Shows. Yeah, that's it. I like yeah. McJellens better though. McJellens? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, give me a percentage here. I don't believe in coincidences, so... I I gotta believe something's fucked up going on there. I like it. I'm, oh, I'm liking I'm, where I'm you're going. It. I'm yeah. liking it. I'm gonna go with... Wait, you like don't believe coincidences exist? <laughs> oh man, I <laughs> believe it. it's some like it's it's meant to happen. Okay, he, serendipity. He's, he's the ripple. Yeah, yeah. Rip okay. right, right, right. I'm gonna go with a seventy-three percent. Oh, okay. just because there's thirty percent, which I like. It's a little too much story. I like the precise answer. You're welcome. Very good. All right, guys. I'm Have you ever had a not like rounded number? Like, well, not rounded, but like a seventy-three point six percent. Um, I don't know if we've had a fractional. I, don't know. I think we have. I've yeah. probably thrown up some bullshit like that before. Okay. I mean, we've had done. I think you've time given shit like half a percent. Yeah, yeah. Because some that of these theories like, we split. Sounds into, like something you know. You can't. It's not a clear cut yes or no. It's yeah. like right. maybe that you know. So yeah, sometimes there's, there's like it breaks into like five different things. Yeah. yeah. I did get the pancakes a two point three rating. If that that's counts. true. Okay. Okay. That's also very precise. It's a precise podcast. <laughs> For me, guys, listen, I'm with you on the serendipity thing, Stotsy, but I also love a good curse <laughs> tale. <laughs> and you love giving high percentages on conspiracy. 96%. <laughs> oh! There's just no doubt about it. I mean, this is just a perfect story. There's just it's, no it's, doubt about it. It's, it's, it's meant, it's one of those things that, you know, it's, a true story. it's just meant, yeah, it, it, it's meant to be told and it's meant to, you know, it like, this story would not be cool if there wasn't a curse with it. 
It just yeah. it wouldn't be. It just be like, oh, we just found this guy. I think and it's, it's a very interesting uh, archaeological find. But you know, neat. and I love hype shit. And so. that curse <laughs> takes it up another, like just a whole other level, man. This level. So magma, <laughs> magma. I'm going high. pyramids. Ninety six percent. Okay. Well, listen. What do you guys think out there? What, what's the official name? of This Ice Man curse. Uh, of the Ice Man. Yeah, the curse of the Ice Man. Ice curse. Ice Ice Man curse. Yeah. Okay. Either way. Curse what do you <laughs> What do you guys think out there? Let us know. Uh, hit us up. Anything but credible at gmail.com or it goes directly through the website anythingbutcredible.com and don't forget of course you can hit us up on Facebook Twitter Instagram any of those things okay guys before we get out of here we've been recording for a while so I, I, I does anybody have any weekly weirdness at all I do not Griff mm, <laughs> nothing nope <laughs> I, I, I I don't want to keep you guys here forever so I, I do but I do have some some things that I, I think Need to be discussed. Well, I just I would. <laughs> Any planes get cleared out with farts this week? <laughs> no, but yeah, okay. we have to. <laughs> there's certain things we have to talk about. One of these things is Keith. I'm surprised that you didn't grab this because <clears throat> you actually, I believe, tweeted me at this. But it, it's a big guys. It, it was a long week. One of the things we have to talk about: sliced ketchup. Oh yeah, yeah, I did tweet this at you. What the <laughs> fuck is <laughs> look that? Their, about? Look at their faces. Okay. Do you know? Do you, <laughs> it's not solid. Are you aware that they make like sli- like sliced cheese? That they're sliced ketchup. That just sounds good. I'm, just, I feel like if you bite into it, it's just kind of like explode in your mouth. So it just sounds disgusting. Try it on your pancakes, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> definitely out on that one. Gross. Yeah, no, no, no. it's literally like like a tearaway pack, like almost like the same thing as like a craft sliced single? American cheese. Yeah, like a craft yeah. single. So, um, so it's basically just. How they catch up? How they solidified it? Yeah. Super processed, yeah. Ew. Super processed. Just, what did they put in it to make it a salad? Just put a tomato on your. I, I don't know about. Give that, me the man. chemical breakdown. Uh, uh, of this slice of. The other know, thing, I, 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 I'll, I'll hit these pretty quick. I try I, it, but that just made me mad. <laughs> I'm gross. not. I'm not super off. happy anymore. Did it yeah. offend you? Huh? Hey, uh, Ooh, see what I did there, guys. The third time this episode. It keeps getting better. When I when I look for these stories, I try to find these stories that I think. That we that we have definitely some kind of connection to, it. and this is another one, a Where? really quick hit. Uh, this one actually might be completely. We have a ketchup connection. This might be completely fake. <laughs> There's a good chance that this isn't real, but um, here's. Let me just read you the headline. Forty-five year old Janice Smith was arrested this morning by officer of the, of the Detroit Police Department for allegedly capturing numerous squirrels and training them to attack her former lover. I this swear I've done real. this. Right? This is apparently is it? real. See, this, yeah. this could be fake. Wait, what? The reason that makes it real uh, for. That makes it for fake for me and everyone out there. I highly suggest googling this story because you got to see her what? mugshot. Oh, her mugshot's hilarious. Oh, what the fuck? Apparently, <laughs> this is real because a bunch of news outlets have picked it up. Well, apparently, from what she's got, like this, I think this. I'm Dude. gonna read this, but I'm pretty sure she got like 60 years and like, I think she got like 10 different felony counts. Didn't I do this one before? She seems no, every nuts. Time, every time it's some by the squirrel, you're talking about the kamikaze squirrel again. Maybe. Every time we bring up a squirrel, you're like, <laughs> you go back to that one. I think. What was the kamikaze squirrel? The one that hurt the mayor of yeah, there was Chicago a, or an alderman of Chicago? Yeah, his bike. Oh, yeah. He declared war on squirrels, That's but I fought back. I'm pretty That's sure the right. cops, the only thing that the cops busted her, I think, I think she huh. had something like 27, ki- like a lot of rabbits. And the funny part That's in there gross. is like they, apparently she got busted by the, the guy, the guy got attacked and he said it kept happening and something like along the lines of like he got attacked and just saw her like in the corner <laughs> like of this field like laughing like she looks like a, she looks like a nut job if that's really her but. Zardulu this is your influence it, it could be oh, people are man. using your powers for wow. evil so I've used this a lot that is hype but here's the thing there are <laughs> yeah. some fucking trained ass rodents running around oh, somewhere Zard- dude well Zardulu, Zardulu has them in New dude. York son huh Zardulu, Zardulu has them in New York Sardu- is- what's Zardulu well, heard of, like, look she does up rat- Zardulu she's a mystic uh, magical yeah, but do they, sage. Do they attack um, people? No. No, but they, yeah, they, they carry pizza rat. They carry like pizza rat. She has had multiple videos go viral. People think these rats are just like doing crazy things in the subway. And this woman trained has an army of trained rats to go around so that people will just videotape them doing crazy shit. Has she trained? Has she uh, trained a rat to do the Carlton dance yet? No, no, but that, I think did, you, did you see that that rat that was shampooing itself recently? Over there. <laughs> I'm extremely skeptical. I'm very suspicious of Zardulu. Like that's though. cool, but there is a group of ninja squirrels running around for sure. They could just they could be right now, just like we could take over some fucking people. So <laughs> they may be, like Planet of the Apes style. Yeah, any like, Rick, and, the any Rick and Morty fans here? Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. exactly. Rick and Morty. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah. 
I'm so sorry. I'm just picturing a rat. We have, we have a do we have a Doolittle situation on yeah. that. Yeah, I'm just picturing a rat now doing the Carlton dance, but voiced by like that Doctor Doolittle rats. Like, oh yeah, yeah, just yeah. talking to each other. You that, that? that could be good. So <laughs> if if this story is real, rat? this is the direct quote from from the article. If this is real, Miss the, from the police, Miss Smith confessed to capturing and training squirrels to harass and attack her ex boyfriend. She used to train lions for a circus. So it was easy oh. for her to make the animals do as she wanted. She said she hoped to raise an army of up to 50 <laughs> or 100 animals. Awesome. I just can't, I can't believe this is real. That's Dude, so no cool. That's, that's really <laughs> badass. You have a yeah. standing <laughs> army of animals. Standing. I picture like yeah. her in the living room. They're just like lined up like no. military Dude, style. This is like real life Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> I just, this is real life Pokemon. I dude. can't believe this is. Sign real. me up. Yeah. No, there's no. I just no. Guess way. I'm catching them all. <laughs> dude, that's cool. That is okay. Well, I'm glad it's you guys cool. She's it. insane, but all right. Well, she's cool. nuts. Yeah, uh, nuts. Uh, oh wow. That was wow, a, a, a couple <laughs> dingers today. I like <laughs> it. I like it. Okay. Listen. Let's end it on this. All right. Jesus. Here's that line. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Quote. This is this is a quote. This is Jesus Christ, and I just broke into Pizza Hut. Oh, nope. this dude. The man's. Have we heard about this? His nine one one. This is his nine one one call. A little bit. Why wasn't a McDonald's? He could have been the Messiah of McDonald's. Because he toys some Jesus crust. Fix the on. ice cream machine. <laughs> Boom. Oh yes, I wish. <laughs> Greens, Greensboro, North Carolina. Forty six year old Richard Lee Quintero told dispatchers around four thirty a.m. Like I just said, that Jesus is here. Quote, Jesus is here. He's back to earth. I just broke in and had a pizza. I'm Jesus. Now. Uh, <laughs> makes sense. Don't be a doubting Thomas now, guys. Believe, <sighs> Believe him. Here, here, oh, here's another quote. <laughs> Quintero told dispatchers, quote, because I'm Jesus, I can do whatever I want. And that he's, quote, tired of Judas's on this <laughs> earth. So he, oh. he stole a pizza. Jesus. He Jesus later, is a big asshole. Yeah. He later said he was starving Whoa. and quote, everybody's been treating me mean. Oh, man. Oh, Jesus getting bullied. Are you sure this just wasn't Jesus? Soon? He was charged with a felony <laughs> breaking and entering and a felony larceny after breaking a felony larceny, I guess, for stealing the pizza. Jesus, that's that's kind of, isn't that rough? That's pretty tough. Like, I mean, what are you going to do? Crucify yeah. the guy? <laughs> oh Damn it. Oh my God. Damn it. You know what? I was oh waiting for the right time to throw God. a joke in there. You know, you know what? That makes me mad. I'm offended now because we just had that stupid thing before this that was really bad. And then Jesus saved this podcast. <laughs> he did. He did. He's a salvation, you know? Jesus okay. saved. Yeah. My question <laughs> to you guys, though, is if but you he proclaim. Was he is a salvation. Pizza. Here's the kicker. He is the Lamb of God. And my question to you is, if you proclaim to be Jesus, and proclaiming that gets you off the hook of something, as it did for him to get this pizza, it didn't work for for Jesus. What would your activity be? What? His was stealing and eating a pizza. But if you were, I'm Jesus, I I can do that. In your mind, you're thinking you can get off the hook for this because you're Jesus. What would would that thing be? I would end hunger, world peace. You know, Jesus. You're not actually Jesus. I, 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 don't, I don't believe you. I don't. I don't believe. Well, you. no. If he's saying if you actually right. have the powers of the real Jesus, I can do anything. No, guys. This All guy right. is. Cra- this guy is crazy. He broke- so basically, if you could do something illegal, but be like, I'm Jesus, and get away with it. Yeah, you're crazy. You're think in his head, he oh. thinks he's Jesus. That's why he. That's why he broke in and That's ate awesome. and stole a pizza because he thinks he's Jesus. I trained a shit you ton got- of squirrels. To hurt <laughs> <people>. <laughs> I feel say. like you guys don't think that this is as crazy as. No, I, think, really I feel is. like this happens once a day. We just. I don't think hear about people claiming to be Jesus is like just. Crazy people's favorite pastime, and that's uh, why I, we love it. Here. But you guys, a, you guys have surprise. all seen the guy who walks up and down South City, haven't you? Oh yeah, doing the walk. I talked to that guy for like an hour one day. Does he claim to be Jesus? Really? Nuts. Yeah. Why? You went well, up to him. I was just hanging out with a buddy, and he was just like walked by, and we were like, "What's up, dude?" He school. walks in a full robe, are you, are you, doesn't he? Yeah, like full white robe and everything, and he a walking had, like, stick. He had like pamphlets that he yeah. was out. It was oh. the craziest thing. Man. Yeah, I don't think he's done anything so illegal. So Jim joined us know cult that day. <laughs> <laughs> I met Jesus. He actually knows that Uzi guy, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't drink the Kool-Aid. Uzi, Uzi and Jesus are friends. He told Griff about the, the, the curse of Uzi. He did. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. For me, I feel like I would do something really cool like, uh, I don't know. I would. <laughs> illegal things can be bad. Yeah. 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 I mean, but like, what, what would I want to do to where. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's hard. It's a hard question because, like, we're not crazy. So I, I don't know. I mean, we wouldn't. We wouldn't use Speak that. Speak for yourself, dude. No way. I get. <laughs> I get some money. 
Um, from psycho. somewhere, I'm just not sure where. Yeah, like yeah. rob a bank or something? Yeah, yeah rob I mean, a psychopath. Yeah. 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 Whatever. Sure. I get some some gold. Give me the gold. Give me the gold. I would. I would rob the Federal Reserve. I would break into the opposing team's locker room for the Blues are playing and give them all laxatives and be like, "It's okay, I'm Jesus." See, that's a great, that's a great answer. That, I mean, that's that's a, that's a real world situation. Turn all that. their water into wine and get them drunk and they'll lose. No, hockey players might play better. I was gonna especially say, Russians. They're rowdy, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, and you're not really. Jesus. Is it illegal to drink and play? Probably apparently sure. not. Um, apparently, uh, Vetchkin takes a couple shots of vodka before every game, and uh, I know that after what? the game. Uh, Especially That's in the nuts. Winter Classic documentary, they showed Reeves and uh, Tarasenko drinking beers in the locker room afterwards. Yeah, rumor has afterwards, it. Afterwards, I can see, but no, before. Well, rumor has it that Shane Battier um, of the NBA used to drink a beer in his warm was part of his warm-up routine. Apparently, beer is Rick one Ankiel, beer is, is Rick good Ankiel was down in vodka. Yeah, yeah uh, Rick Ankiel was. And, and I, I don't know if it was legal or not, but we all know about Ron Artest and the Hennessy. Yeah. So, <laughs> Meta World Peace? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, at that time, yeah, right, you're right. Um, oh, okay, so I... I Keith, nothing? You can't think of anything? Other, I mean, I guess you said world peace. Yeah. It's not really a crime. You're kind of like... You're doing something, something good. Yeah, you. he thinks I was talking about like actual having Jesus' well, powers. I'm just talking about you being an insane person. Oh, if I'm an insane person... You'd probably... He'd, he'd, <sighs> he'd break on a Post Malone's tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> like, that's actually not a bad Jesus. idea, though. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Look at him. He's really thinking now, though. See? It's like a little Wayne laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Stouty, anything that you comes to mind at all? No? He uh, said he created an army of <laughs> no, but I, but I would I just, steal the body of Utsi and return him to his wrestling place. Oh, I was, figured that I, would come uh, from me. I, I really honestly, did. I would probably I, think I would it. bring back dinosaurs. Like, I'd probably just like go into like the some rich person's house in LA and be like I this is mine now. I was sent here for this house. See, and then you're go. just chilling out, relaxing, Max, and all cool. Yeah, I think <laughs> shooting some people. I'd out take there. Facebook. <laughs> Oh, Fa- here we go. Facebook is mine. Here we now. go. Yeah. Ooh, I'm, oh. Hello, I'm Jesus Grifford. And I am now in charge. You steal the code. <laughs> you steal like the, the foundation the code foundation for one of those. Zuckerberg. Like, yeah. Christ is actually my middle name. Yeah. I would definitely have to rob Bezos <laughs> in some way. Just because you know he's got something crazy over there. Like wherever he is. Yeah. Yeah, walking his Boston Dynamics dog. Fuck that. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be doing that ever. No. Can I end? Isn't that what he was doing? Can like I destroy the Boston what? Dynamics program of those yeah, dogs? Yeah, that's, that's what I would do. Oh. That needs to be stopped as well. Oh, you're, so you would stop it? That's good. I thought you were going to go yeah, somewhere else. I would, I would stop AI. Okay, Unless there it's we go. Elon Musk's AI. Good. No, I'm stopping Elon Musk. Uh, he's against AI, though, bro. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, either way, uh, enough uh, enough for the weekly weirdness. We'll, we'll, we'll get yeah, out of here. Uh, before we do that, shout-outs. Would anyone, Griff, Keith, shout-outs? Uh, yes. <clears throat> Cardinals. Baseball is back, baby. Yep, it's been back. I love it. It's yeah, I know. I think you're I gonna say said it last week. week. Yeah, okay. fuck yeah. Um, really Matheny, thrilling. gotta go. Still, still on that tip. Yeah, for you. yeah. Did Matheny. you see the guy's sign behind the game the other night that said hashtag Matheny out? <laughs> no, I did not. I would have loved it. It was on TV. I don't, <laughs> know, if he, I don't know if he actually watched the games. TV. Perfect. Yeah. No, I was I was really busy. Uh about it. But, <laughs> but yeah. Matheny, you gotta go, bud. Okay. Sorry, Jose Okendo for manager. Yeah, yeah. Saying it right here, right now. Yeah. Uh, shout out to our, our guests right yeah, here. Shout the, out the offended podcast. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Shout out to you guys. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's whatever. Man, that's <laughs> it. Uh, guys, anything, anybody, anything that you'd like to shout out or anything that uh, you know? I'll. I'll you want to shout out now? <laughs> yeah. Shout out the man sitting next to you. That's okay. I'll nope. But uh, Ooh. I do have a sh- I do have a real shout out though. For, oh, let's uh, do it. Brett Stockman. I hope your Monday is now ruined. That I'm on this show. Just so you oh, know. Oh wow. Damn. Sorry, wow. Brett. We're sorry about this. Love you, Damn. <laughs> Damn. Shots fired. Wow. Oh, wait, it's it was coming. Get after him on Twitter. But you're assuming that he listens this far into each episode. Oh, I think he does. Oh, yeah. He's in. No, I know. <laughs> He's in. And if I he lo- doesn't, I'll make sure that he hears it. We, we, <laughs> we love it. All right. Stouty, anybody, anything? Uh, Yeah. Shout out you guys for having us on. Thank you. Shout out oh, WrestleMania yeah. Yeah, weekend. Yeah. Uh, Another random shout out. Got this hat on. I'm part of a Wiffle Ball League team. We got oh. our season coming up. Yeah. Memorial oh, okay. weekend. 
Uh, we do charity stuff for veterans, strike out for buddies, kids, cancer. Nice. Skippy Wiffleball. They got a podcast. You can check them out. You can check them out on YouTube. Hell yeah. Ball games. Some cool. For sure. And nice. shout out Shawn Michaels. He just cut his hair off. My childhood is dead. Oh. Sad day. Yeah. Sad Sorry day. to hear that, guys. That I lost same. my smile. <laughs> Only wrestling fans will get that. <laughs> for me, shout out, obviously, Griff said to you guys, and of course, the offended pod. And uh, I also want I want to shout out to anyone out there to, that's going to try cheese on their pancakes because of this. I mean, shout out to you. If you got enough, you know, courage to, to try that, then shout out to you. Does it really take courage? No, I mean, it's just I different. Guess, it's yeah, not a normal yeah. thing, you know? I mean, people are weird about their food, you know? The other thing, too, is shout out. Uh, shout out. To, <laughs> I don't know if you're on this stout or not, but you're wearing the the Logic Cody. It's got me It's got me thinking. I just was watching uh, Rapture. Uh, it's a series on, on Netflix. That, uh, like a mini doc on following rappers, uh, hip-hop uh, producers, too. Uh, I don't yeah. know how many parts it is, but I, I highly suggest the first episode is Logic, the rapper yeah. Logic, and it's, I think I've seen four so far. It's definitely, I think, the best. It's it, really good. For me, it was super, in, uh, it's just like inspiring, but it, good. So go, ch- go check that out. It's called Rapture. Yep. All right, that's all we got this week. 80, uh, episode 86 in the books. Um, let's see. For... PWP Nation on Apple Podcasts. You can find uh, the Offended Pod. They've they've already said uh, in the episode how to get to the Offended Pod and how to not only do that but check them out on their new Twitter and go get their T-shirts. What was that website again? Hit me with that. It was www.prowrestlingtees.com slash offended dash podcast. Nice. He says you do it so well. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. For us, we should behold. for us tell a friend and uh, we should be everywhere that you get your podcast except for Spotify. We're still working on that, but. Hit us up on Apple Podcasts. Hit us up with a rate and review. Five star, please, and let us know how we're doing. If not, tell us what we can do to get better. Hit us up on the email, anythingbutcredible at gmail.com. And, of course, the website, anythingbutcredible.com. Let's see. Oh, I didn't say this at the beginning of the show. I should probably add this in. But we are off next week. I did not. I totally forgot about that. We will not be oh, Griff. Yeah. <laughs> news, news to Griff. I don't know. I doubt that you've been looking at your calendar. But we are off next week. <laughs> so... Enjoy this. Go back and check oh. out 85, our viral video bracket. It'll it, a, a good, at least, time consumer. And uh, we'll jump back in to two weeks from now. So we are off next week. Just keep that as a reminder. Okay, guys, we appreciate you. Thanks for checking in. Have a good week. I have a good two weeks. We'll see you in two weeks. Keith, can you take us out in dad joke? Yeah, we talked a lot about Mike Tyson. Yeah, we this did. This episode. We so did. I got a Mike Tyson joke. Um, Mike Tyson was uh, thinking the other day. He yelled out, Someone help me. I can't swim. Because he was thinking. I got it. But what the- oh, he was sinking. Oh, yeah. my God. I, didn't, I really didn't get it. Uh, <laughs> you really didn't. I, saw, I saw you struggling. I saw that. Did you see the gear? Uh, they were yeah, really- I saw the gear. Final. I'm not sure. Look at, look at Jim's face. It. I- it was good. It took a second. <laughs> <laughs> I was a knockout. I'm kind of hurt. <laughs> it was a knockout. Oh, oh. Wow. Ended on that. Ended on that. <laughs>